you, if you're going to speak on behalf of Ron Paul, it's it's not at that point about making all the all the points about why Ron Paul is the best candidate necessarily. So I think there's a few things that you can throw in there. There's a couple of data points, but keep that brief. You know, keep maybe a couple of quick hitter things about. These are the things that I think are really going to resonate with this group about why Ron Paul is really you know, the person that they should be thinking about. More than anything, it's about you, because it's kind of like the, the the analogy with courts. You know, like you know that. You know, the facts don't win court cases, lawyers win court cases, because you, you know, it's about who's the better lawyer to win over the jury. You know, it doesn't necessarily even matter who's, you know, you know, who has the better case, it's who, who makes the better argument, who's more appealing to the jury. Very similar with this. You can sway a lot of people just simply with your own charisma, your own, uh, you know, accommodating style, whatever those kind of things is. So introduce yourself, be personable, tell them by, you know, a little bit about yourself so that they can identify with you and go, that person seems like a reasonable person who is intelligent and uh, kind of seems to know what they're talking about. There may be several people in that audience that aren't very educated on any of the candidates. They may be undecided or they've heard a couple little things like, well, I've, I saw this one commercial from Newt Gingrich that really, yeah, that I really like that. So that's all I've got to go on, so I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going there. So that's not a real strong position to be taking. You know, they may be sitting on very little information, or I really like Mitt Romney's hair. You know, he just seems like an attractive young guy, and so that, that seems very reasonable to me, and that's, that's who I'm going with. So if they see somebody that is you know, a, a confident <coughs> person who seems intelligent and has done that research, and they, and they seem trustworthy, like, well, that person seems well-spoken, they seem trustworthy, and they seem to know a lot about this, because they've obviously done a lot of research, and they've really put some really thought and, and their heart into this. That, you know, that resonates with me. That's, that's more to go on than the commercial I saw, so why not? I'll go with Ron Paul. It can be just that easy on how you may sway, right. sway somebody. And that's exactly why I'm here. You know, I don't agree with everything that Ron Paul says, but the man knows what he's talking about, you know, mm -hmm. and that resonates with people. Mm -hmm. and, and be real. So you know, that, that's, it, it's not about, you, know, you don't necessarily have to paint your candidate as the perfect person, you know, or that, you know, they're, they're all things to all people. So you know, every, every candidate, it will almost, we're all individuals, so almost every single candidate has things that we like, things that we would disagree with, or certain nuances there. And everybody out there is going to be in the same boat. So, you know, what is it that drew you to Ron Paul? Is that, you know, that he's trustworthy and that he's, he, he does what he says he's going to do and he doesn't, you know, speak like a politician. And we've all said all of our lives how, well, I hate all that stuff. I hate politicians that, that, that speak or that flip-flop or that change their positions or that pander or that do one thing to the campaign and then do something else when they're governing. And I, I believe we found a candidate that won't do any of those things and you know, appeal to the, some of those, those things that we, all, that we all say or complain about with politicians. That's, I think that's one really good angle of it. So, oh, well, yeah, that's true. And yeah, I have always said that. And you yeah, know, that's, that's right. And, and they'll, they'll resonate, resonate with those kind of things. It's not about, well, here's all of his different policy positions, and I agree with all those, and you should too. You're not, not going to change somebody's worldview or all their policy positions. That takes a long time of education and talk with somebody about, you know, trying to convince them that we should have a more humble foreign policy when they think we should be, you know, out and building an empire isn't going to be solved in a three-minute speech. It's going to be you know, from somebody that they've never met before. That's, that's off the table. But if, they, you know, but if you can convince them of, I'm a, I'm, I'm a trustworthy person, I trust Ron Paul, you know, if they're on the fence, those kind of things. And you're not going to sway. If somebody's a hardcore Santorum supporter, they came there, they're wearing the shirt, that's, you're, not, you're not worried about them anyway. They're, you know, that's, <laughs> they're, already, they're, they're already committed. You're not going to sway them anyhow. You're, you're going for those soft commits and undecideds. After the, the stump speeches are given for the candidates, um, what level of enthusiasm would be appropriate? Is there would there be a downside for applauding for a candidate in a certain way? Or uh... there's no rules on it. When I when I was a chair, for instance, I mean, I think anybody that is brave enough to stand up and speak in front of a large group of people about any candidate, whether it's somebody I agree with or not, deserves recognition. So I I made sure that whenever somebody was completed talking about their candidate, that we all gave them a round of applause. So now hooping, hollering, all that kind of thing. You, you have to be you have to be careful about that because you it once again it's kind of about perception of the candidate so you want to you want to support your candidate you want to be show enthusiasm for the for the candidate and that person who you who you respect for getting it for being brave enough to get up and speak but beyond that you know chanting names or waving signs and that kind of thing I mean there's a there's a there's a there's a threshold between being supportive and being so over the top that you turn people off it's as important as to be to be thorough and to watch for for fraud I mean the, 
from my perspective, these are all people that are trying to do the right thing. That are trying to, you know, that you know, they're all they are all our neighbors. They're not. You know, so they're just, these are not party officials for the most part. If any, if any kind of party official, they're usually just people who are on the central committee of the county. So they're not. They're not full-time politicians. Those kind of things. They're you know they're there to try to make things fair. Even if they may disagree with who the vote count is for, I you know 99 times of 100, these are reasonable people that are trying to do the right thing and making sure that things are transparent and that we're, we're getting through it. 